Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? How's everyone doing? Welcome back. And for today's video, we're talking about a French movie that is called Girls with Balls. And I never thought in a million years I would have to say that phrase out loud, but I, there it is, I guess. <laughs> but shockingly enough, the title of the movie is j j j very fitting because the movie is incredibly shocking and it's... It's really something else. And when I say all that, I'm not even remotely exaggerating. Like this movie will seriously test your limits as not just as a movie watcher, just as a human being. This movie is gory, this movie is grotesque, and this movie is morbid. And that's not to say that this is automatically a bad film because there's actually a lot of really, really, really funny moments if you have a, like a sixth sense of humor. But for me personally, in order to get to those funny moments, you really have to just climb this giant mountain that's just covered in what the f moments. The overall plot of the movie, it's very simple. It's about a girls volleyball team, they go to a championship game and then they're driving back from that game only to get lost along the way and then they stumble upon a small town full of a bunch of you know inbred we don't like your kind around here types of people and then it becomes this weird ridiculous hills have eyes but like super gory and tries to be funny kind of weird wacky ridiculous ride in all seriousness this movie is the exact definition of ridiculousness and make no mistake everybody this movie is disgusting <laughs> there are some things like i can handle a lot of things like I'll, I'll watch anything from like the first two scary movie movies or like Shaun of the dead like i can handle that kind of stuff but this movie takes the gore level on those movies and adds like a kill bill volume one quentin tarantino blood splattery type shit. i literally can't express enough to you guys that this movie this this movie has a lot to handle like this is this is a big mood of a movie and as far as my enjoyment of the movie I, I liked it, but just ever so slightly, because this movie is, it was a little hard to get through. And I gotta give the movie some credit. It really, really, really tried to be really original and just really out there and really tries to get your attention. But some of those times, for me personally, it, it went really, really, really far. Like, this movie is very morbid. However, I have to admit, there were a lot of funny moments, and a lot of it was considered shock humor. There are some jokes within the dialogue, but it, some of you guys know me. I like to watch the original language of the movie with subtitles in it. So if any of you have watched this movie with or without the dub, uh, let me know how you feel about it, because I'm curious to know. Because maybe some of the humor within the dialogue, maybe that came out better in the dubbed version. I don't know, but let me, get, let me know if you guys know. And I'll also give the movie credit, because it actually did scare me when I really wasn't expecting to be. There was two or three moments in the movie where where I legitimately was just like, oh, shit. because the movie does a really good job of lulling you into this false sense of security because you expect the movie to be ridiculous out there and trying to be funny and in your face. But then there's a few jump scares that just pop up out of nowhere before you know it. And it, was, it caught me off guard. And also, if any of you have issues with animal cruelty, maybe this isn't the best movie for you. And for me, that was one of the moments that it took it a little bit too far for me. There's a scene involving a really, a really cute little puppy. And let's just say it was drawn out. It was gratuitous. It was really, really unnecessary. And it's kind of hard to keep the movie lighthearted and when a lot of the characters that you like end up dying. But again, credit to the movie. It took a chance. It tried to do something different. It, it wanted to tell you that not every character was safe. However, I would have to say overall, guys, uh, confidence is key. Confidence is important. And I like movies that tend to take risks. But at the end of the day, I think this movie, it was kind of like that Kevin Smith movie, Yoga Hosers, in that it had a creative idea. It tried to do as much as it possibly could, but it just didn't quite make the mark. But I will say this movie is slightly better than Yoga Hosers. Sorry, Kevin Smith. I love you. But overall, guys, I think I'm going to, I'm going to go slightly positive just because I admire the effort this movie put in, so I'm going to give it a 5.5 .5 out of 10. The end of the movie did leave an opening for a sequel, so I, if a sequel does come out, I'll watch it just to watch the attempt. But as for this movie in particular, I don't see myself watching it again. It's really... It's hard, but I'm going to recommend if you don't have a weak stomach, I would say give it a try. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have any of you guys heard of this movie? Have you seen it? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, do all that other happy horse shit, and I will catch you guys next time.